Sometimes a pediatrician you see in the nursery checking the baby below. In the inguinal area, yeah, right? And, and they're feeling around. Why do they do check that so carefully? Very important. We, I, I've mentioned the aorta that comes out of the heart and feeds blood to the whole body. Now, that big blood vessel can sometimes have a narrowing in it. And if it does, you don't get blood to the lower half of the body or whatever, or you don't get blood after the point where the narrowing is. And what they're feeling, they're feeling the pulses in the legs to make sure there is a good pulses and good blood flow going down to, to, the, to the baby or the child's legs. So there could be a narrowing somewhere along that pipe? It could be a, a, a very significant narrowing, or it could even be where the um, whole tube didn't form, where there is actually an, a, a section of the aorta missing. So with this term, they use coarctation of aorta? Well, with the term, we use, we use coarctation of the aorta, which, which, we, when we're, which we mean a narrowing of the aorta, and it can be so severe that you have even an interrupted aortic arch where, where, they actually, where the ascending and descending portions of the aorta are not connected. How do they handle that? This is, now, this is um, mostly done surgically in the babies. Uh, and at, th at this point, we're actually again beginning to use catheters um, in dealing with these and balloons and, and ballooning some of these. So basically they can stretch internally sometimes but many times they do end up with major surgery. Many times, many times they have to have surgery. It's not as major in terms of the, these children often don't have to go on bypass. Okay, so it makes it a little shorter procedure, a little less risky procedure. Um, and now, and on the other hand, when they're using, can, using a catheter, um, they actually may not do it all at one sitting. They may dilate it a little bit and have you come back a little while later and dilate it a little bit more. Okay, and then, you know, with time, you know, get it up to the size it has to be. Can a child have this co op of aorta and be undetected for many years? Absolutely. What do they? What would they do about that? Well, Anything different? No, no, not really different. I mean, today, for especially for the older kids, um, they are they are now dilating them more than doing surgery if they can. It depends on the institution, honestly.